Okay, so I realized something today. If you grew up in the time of MTV and VH1, you grew up, and, and there's still, by the way, music videos to this day, obviously. However, it's not as prevalent because we don't have those channels. Like, our kids are not watching TV like they used to, at least mine are. They're, if they're watching anything on TV, it's on a streaming platform. And so, I had this realization that my children were not being exposed to music videos in the way that I was exposed to music videos from a very young age. I mean, music videos on VH1, specifically because of the time that I was born, in the 80s was huge. And then in the 90s, it was more MTV, right? Um, and it, like, that music shaped my childhood, and I remember it so, so vividly. And so I started showing my daughter some of these music videos today. And she loved it. And, and, and not all the music videos from my childhood. Like, I showed her all the single ladies. Beyonce. You know? I, that is a classic music video. And there's nothing extremely raunchy about it. And it, it, she, I don't know if it's her idea. I don't know the, the story behind that video, but it, I think it's one of the most iconic music videos. I mean, there's tons of exceptional music videos, but that one was so simple and the dancing was so effective. It was like you couldn't take your eyes off of it. And my daughter couldn't take her eyes off of it at all. Um, I also showed her uh, Whitney Houston just recently. She loved it. And I just think there's a plethora online that we can expose our children to in the realm of music. And you know what? If you're not down for doing music like that for your children, if you don't want them to see those kinds of videos, there's also a whole other realm of music that they can be exposed to. And I think that anything that cultivates your child's creativity and opens up their that creative part of their brain. This is coming from a not. I, I just know that all of this for me as a child was so impactful and so it made such a difference in my life. Had I not been exposed to music and arts as a young child, um, like I wouldn't be where I am today. If I was, if I had grown up in a household where music and arts were not something that we looked at, it would just, my life would be different. All right, I'm done with the rant. I realized that I was ranting and raving, but these are things that I, I think are important just to discuss. And I'm not an expert by any means. I just have my own life to draw upon. I've not studied any of this, but I just don't think that there's anything wrong with exposing your children to the arts at large. All of the arts, classic art, modern art, you know, an art being including music and musicals. Like we don't watch musicals anymore, which is fine. Musicals have their time and place. And if you're lucky enough to live in a state that has uh, live musicals or live theater, like, okay, I'm gonna stop, I'm stopping. I just remembered that Martin Henderson is in a Britney Spears video. Is it this one? No, it's toxic. <gasps> Go look it up. Martin Henderson is in toxic. In case you didn't know, which most of you probably already know this. I'm like going down a serious music video. I'm serious. Yeah, that's right, Brittany. We're both serious. I'm going down a massive memory lane music video situation. Yeah, don't show this to anybody.